What is up guys, this is Olympio, coming at you with a card discussion today from the new Shining Victories called Unwavering Bonds, and it is a brand new counter trap. And its effect reads as follows, when your opponent activates a Pendulum Monster's effect, or the effect of a card that is already in the Pendulum Zone, negates the activation and if you do, banish it. Well, straight off, this is one of the most direct support cards for people who don't like Pendulum. One important thing is this card does not negate the activation of a Pendulum. So Pendulum being activated in the scale, it does not negate that. Which I think is a very big downside if I'm completely honest. There are some things like the Magispectors that don't actually have Pendulum effects. So this isn't going to negate one of the effects that this card has. However, if we break it down, it says your opponent activates a Pendulum Monster's effect. So that is just a Pendulum Monster on the board activating its effect. So it's really nice because it means that you can banish that. Then, as I said, obviously not good against Magispectors, but still good anyway. It says that you can negate the activation of a Pendulum Monster's effect in the Pendulum Zone. So imagine if this, use, this was used against Cleefort, using it on their one scout, and banishing it. The salt. This is a pretty decent counter trap against pendulums. Is it going to be run? Well, that all depends on how the meta is. If this card was out right now, I believe this card would be run simply because there are a lot of pendulum monsters running around right now and it simply removes the card from play, which is probably one of the best things that you can do because your opponent's not going to run anything that's going to bring anything back from the banished zone because there is literally no point. Unwavering Bonds is a step in the right direction for Konami to slightly curb some of this pendulum arcing that is going on with the power creep because pendulums have just gone from 0 to 100 really really quickly in my opinion. Going from Cleefort that were kind of overshadowed by other decks and was just a pendulum deck and then all of a sudden we have gone to the Pepe era and it's gone poof, kind of a little bit ridiculous. But this card is coming out in I think it's early mid this year and it's going to be a little bit difficult for us to maybe struggle with the couple of pendulum decks that we have right about now. But we do have a lot of good cards like Anti-Spell Fragrance that's so really going to help us curb it. This really just helps with future matters and overall I think it's a pretty decent card. It's something that people should really pay attention to and pick up if it isn't too difficult to get. If it is a super rare and ultra rare it's probably going to go down in price eventually until it gets that hype that it probably will deserve. So I want to know what you guys think of Unwavering Bonds. Do you think it is a good card or do you think it's not? Do you think there are better ones out there? Or, you know, as I said, it's just going to collect dust. So as I said, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I should catch you guys later.